Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Havoc, and I have a video for you guys today. This was actually kind of um, requested by one of my subscribers on how to use OBS to record your gameplay instead of using it to live stream. Uh, and it's actually very easy to do. I will show you how to set it up with the old version of OBS if you happen to still be running that. And if you're using OBS, I'll show you how to set it up on there too. Uh, but first, we'll start with the old version of OBS. You'll want to open up the program and go straight to your profile. Now, I already have a recording profile, but I'm going to set up a new profile for this demonstration. So you're gonna hit new and type in the name of your recording profile. Now, as you can see, a lot of my scenes and my sources automatically get transferred over from profile to profile. So depending on what you want on your recordings, you're gonna have to either check or uncheck some of these boxes. Okay, so a lot of these settings that I'm gonna cover or explain you will have to mess with on your own end that fits your needs. Um, but until then, we'll go into our settings tab and under the general area, we're not gonna make any modifications in here. So we're gonna go straight into our encoding tab. Now this is where we're gonna make some changes, okay? For the max bit rate, normally what you're going to set this value at, whatever your upload speed is. But because we're recording, this is going to be saved locally. Uh, and depending on what resolution you plan on recording, 720p, 60fps, 1080p, 60fps, 1440p, 60fps, whatever, this value is going to have to be significantly higher, okay? For most people that just want to do 720p or 1080p, I use 30,000, okay? That is my write speed to my hard drive to record my gameplay, all right? But again, this is one of those settings that you are going to have to play with. And, on here's, and here's why I'm going to say that. If you're someone that is a, a PC gamer and you have one PC, you play on that PC and you record on that PC, it is going to be very important to know whether or not your PC has the hardware capability to do what you want it to do. Uh, for instance, if you play a game that's very CPU intensive, right, and you're recording, and if you don't have a good uh, processor, you might start bottlenecking. Um, and the best way to do this is to open up your task manager and take a look at how much CPU usage you are using with OBS, and then to see how much CPU usage you're using with the game you're playing. Once you start to hit around 80%, you might see some stuttering, you might have some frame loss, you might not get the quality that you want, is what I'm trying to say. And you have to pay attention to your disks, um, how much disk usage you're using as well okay so kind of keep an eye on what game you're using what resolution you're trying to record at and then adjust those settings based on you know where your hardware specifications are at now if you're streaming or if you're sorry if you're recording and you're using like an elgato game capture this may or may not be an issue for you but again depending on what resolution you're going to be using you might have to adjust those settings as well okay because everybody has different computers and everybody has different hardware inside those pieces, all right? So make your changes in here, then hit apply. Then go down to your broadcasting settings, okay? This is where we tell OBS, hey, I don't want to live stream, I want to record. So where it says mode and live stream, hit the drop down menu and select file output only. And then where it says file path, this is where we tell OBS to save our video. So I like to save it to my solid state drive. And if you wanna make a new, a new folder, you can make a new folder and give your file a name, which in this instance, normally what's gonna happen is if I put vid underscore, the first video I record will probably be called vid underscore. The second video I record will be vid underscore one. So it's going to save it numerically and this might help you save time in regards to finding that one video you just made instead of going through all 70 of them. That's probably really exaggerated etc okay so once you've done that you're going to hit apply and go down to your video settings your video adapter obviously is going to be either the onboard video card or your external card which in this case i have a 7950 your base resolution this is set to 1080 because that's what my monitor is i have a 1080p monitor if you have 1440p monitor etc this value will be completely different don't worry about that you don't have to change anything your resolution downscale however however is what you will want to change 
If you've streamed with OBS, you know that if you want to stream 720p on OBS, you have to change this value right here to 720p. The same thing applies when you're recording. If I have this value set at 720, I'm going to be recording my gameplay at 720p. Now for the FPS counter, again, I determine whether or not I want this at 60 FPS or if I want it at 30 FPS, okay? Play with these settings, find what works for you. Once you've made those changes, hit apply and go down to your audio. Desktop audio, I can't stress this enough. Sometimes people have a difficulty understanding what it is. If I'm wearing a headset and I have audio, my gameplay, my chat, whatever, it's coming through my headset, only my headset, then I need to select my headset as the desktop audio device because that's where all the sound is coming from, okay? If you have it coming from your personal speakers, everything comes through your speakers, you need to set that to your speakers, okay? Uh, microphone auxiliary audio device. This is the microphone. So if you have a headset on and you are gonna be doing your commentary with the microphone on your headset, we'll select your headset. If you're using a professional studio microphone, like I am in this case, I'm not wearing a headset, I'm going to select my studio microphone, okay? So pick what you'd like to use. I just, as long as you guys understand that, I wanna make that absolutely 100% clear so there's no confusion. Um, and then go down to your desktop boost. Quick clarification on what this is. This is the background audio level, okay? So if you are someone doing commentary and the game sound, the gameplay, the audio in the background is too loud, it's overpowering your voice, you may wanna turn this down. Now obviously one is the lowest you can go. And if it's still too loud, you may have to go over to your mixer and adjust the program in here if it is a PC game. If it is a game that's coming through the Elgato, you'll have to go into your global source properties and adjust that. And I'll show you that very quickly here in just a second. Uh, your microphone boost. So if your voice is too low, it's being, and it's not, and it's being overpowered by the gameplay, you'll want to bump this up a little bit. Again, play with these values because every game is going to sound different on the volume and you want it to be right about 50, 50. Okay. Maybe 60, 40, make your changes and hit apply hotkeys. I personally use two hotkeys when I'm actually recording. It's stop and start, and I use my plus and minus keys. You can use whatever you like. Okay, make those changes and hit apply. Then come down to your advanced tab. I really don't want to go back in, in depth on this actual tab. Um, I have a video for OBS explaining majority of this to the best of my knowledge. I am I may or I may or may or may have or may not have missed some information. Point is though, if you, if you live stream with your profile and it works for you, you can pretty much almost set this back, this section back to how you have it on your live streaming profile, okay? Um, so I'm not gonna cover that again. And then your noise gate, if you feel like you have to use a noise gate, go ahead and use a noise gate. I'm not a professional when it comes to explaining what a noise gate is. I know the very basic stuff about it. I don't really use it, so. Yeah, <laughs> and then scene switcher, don't worry about it, okay? Uh, and that's all you need to do in regards to the settings. But coming back to if you're using the Elgato and the gameplay is just too damn loud, right? What you're gonna need to do is you're gonna have to right click and go into your properties. And see this little red bar right here? This is where you adjust the audio that is being, or that is coming through the Elgato to your stream. So if it's extremely loud, just drag that sucker down as low as you need to go. Or if it's extremely too quiet, you can just drag it up. That's all you gotta do to adjust your audio. Okay, and then you hit okay. Now that I've explained that on how to do it on the old version of OBS, I'm gonna show you how to do it on the new version of OBS. Okay, now it's time to set up OBS Studio for recording. So we'll go ahead and open up OBS Studio and I don't honestly believe that you have to make a recording profile for OBS Studio if you want to, by all means. Uh, again, keep in mind that your sources and scenes will carry over from profile to profile. So this time, let's go back into our settings panel. 
and a lot of the settings are going to be roughly the same thing. There are a few new advanced settings. I have not gone into those yet. I don't really know exactly what they're going to do, how it's going to affect the recording profiles. This is something that you might have to learn on your own and figure out what you need, okay? Uh, under the general tab, I don't make any changes here. Go to our stream tab, you don't have to make any changes here either. So let's go to output. As you can see, this is kind of a familiar thing we just saw. Video bitrate. Set this value to 20 or 30,000. Okay. Uh, your encoder, which is X264. This is a smaller compression file. It's kind of like an MP4. Um, so keep that as default. Your audio bitrate. Mine's set at 160. If I set this value any higher, for some reason it will not record my microphone. So play with the setting and see where it leads you but I keep it at 160 or whatever the default is and you should be fine. Okay, recording, here we go. So this is the same thing. We need to tell OBS Studio where we want our videos to end up. Pick your folder and your location, etc. Bam, you're done. Simple as that. All right, so this little section does give you a few new options that uh, the old version of OBS did not. Recording quality. It gives you same as stream, okay, which if you're recording, you're going to want really good quality, so don't select that. High quality, medium file size, indistinguishable quality, large file size, and lossless. Lossless kind of is just a, is roughly like AVI, so it's going to be a very, very large file. Um, the larger the file, the longer it's going to take to upload on YouTube. I am completely content with MP4, but again, if you are just a simple gamer that does simple gameplays, simple videos, I wouldn't worry about setting it to lossless, maybe indistinguishable or high quality. If you make like cinematic videos, right, then I can see setting it to lossless, especially if you're doing 4K. All right, anything other than, other, other than that, God, English is hard. Don't worry about it, honestly. Okay, uh, recording format. You have a whole bunch of different options. You have FLV, MP4, MOV, MKV, TS, and I don't know what M3, U8 is. Again, I set mine to MP4. That's what works for me. Your encoder, right? So again, you have the standard presets X264, and then you have low usage preset, but it also increases the file size. So play with these settings as you need to. Hell, do a couple test recordings, see what the difference is between the two, and then go from there. After you've pretty much done that, you'll hit apply, and then we'll go to our audio tab. So the audio tab actually gives us a lot more variation when it comes to your desktop audio device and your mic devices, okay? <clears throat> now, I'm assuming for the most part that the extra device 2, uh, uh, the desktop audio device 2 and the mic the audio device 2 is something for more like, I guess, mixers or if you have different, if you have a whole bunch of different um, inputs going on at the same time then you can kind of tamper with these settings and like separate them. I don't know. So I'm not, I'm, that's just my personal assumption of it, okay? For basic recording, again, your desktop audio device is wherever the audio is coming out, and your mic auxiliary audio device is where your mic input's going, okay? So if you're doing basic stuff, one and one. Don't worry about uh, any other settings. Um, of course, you'll have extra settings here if, based on how, how, what else you have plugged into your computer. I don't mess with any of this. I don't care. That's me. Okay. Then we go to our video settings. <laughs> um, oh, that's right, because I have it running. Okay. So video output, same thing. Base canvas resolution pretty much means your monitor, right? My monitor is the 1080p monitor. Bam. 1080p is my base resolution. Output or scale resolution. Again, this is what I'm telling OBS. Hey, I want to record in 720, so I selected 1280 by 720. Downscale filter. Again, you can change. There's three different settings in here that you can change based on what fits you and what kind of gameplay you're, or what kind of games you're playing. And then the common FPS values: 30, 60, etc. Okay. Then you'll hit apply. Your hotkeys. As you see, I have the plus and minus to start and stop recording. Uh, and then your advanced tab. I don't tamper with any of this on the top. Okay. Um, recording file name. It gives you, as you can see here, a reference of what everything means. If you don't care for any of that, you just want to call it 
video stuff because I'm awesome. You can freaking call it that, and that's exactly what it's going to be called, okay? Just remember it'll have like a one or two or three or whatever after the file name. Um, stream delay, don't worry about that because you're recording, you're not streaming. Uh, and same with automatically reconnect. Once you've done that, you'll hit apply again, and voila, you are, you're done. That is all you have to do to use OBS to record. Uh, if there's anything that I might have missed or anything you guys did not understand, please don't hesitate to ask me any questions. I love to help you guys. I'm pretty lenient about that stuff. Um, and yeah, until then, I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.